a lot of people make the point of like some of the teams that go deep never start the world cup like in blistering form and i'm not going to say that uruguay is all of a sudden just going to be crazy and go nuts and start balling out and playing beautiful football from here forward but you know a lot of teams start out world cup runs with like a little bit of a whimper and then they build into the world cup kind of expecting that from germany i'm honestly expecting that from argentina there's no way they play the same again the way they did after that first game there's no fucking way um i mean you know portugal's turning it up like i, I think spain are gonna ball out like just the way it is i think germany's gonna turn it around Uh, Russia about to beat Uruguay and go through on nine points, bro. Russia's been a great story. Do, 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 do. So Saudi Arabia, Morocco, and Egypt are all out, right? Fuck. Shit, man. Salah's not winning the Ballon d'Or, dudes. Not a chance. Not a chance. If you think it's going to be anyone other than Ronaldo or Messi, I... I mean, for me, it's pretty much locked in for Ronaldo, dude. He's won a third straight Champions League. You know, the league, okay. Not the best ever, but like breaking goal scoring records. He, now in the Euros, uh, in the Euros, in for for European players, I believe, doesn't he have the record now for goals scored? Um, I think he has eighty five goals, which is a, is a record broken. I can't remember exactly what record. So I I think honestly it's it's going to be um it's gonna be Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo's locking it up with these uh, World Cup performances so far, but still. Long World Cup run to go, really. I mean, Messi could go on a madness from here forward. And honestly, if Messi carries Argentina into anything beyond the semifinal with how, you know, inept that squad seems, even though they've got a bunch of star players in Argentina, they just seem so fucking clueless and just force everything over to Messi. Um, for me, I, I could see Leo Messi go on like a big time, big time madness. Outside of that, I, I think it's got to be... Um, Oh, most international goals for European country that Ronaldo broke the record for. Sneaky, thank you for the brand new sub, by the way, dude. I appreciate you. God bless. So, yeah, for me, Mo Salah, I really don't think is going to be is gonna be in the conversation anymore. With, with the year that Messi had, with the year that Ronaldo had. Yes, Mo Salah had a great year. But now you compound with him really not doing anything. And maybe it's the injury or whatever it is that happened to Mo Salah. You know, Egypt getting knocked out in the groups and now Ronaldo balling out and Messi still having a chance to ball out, although he did miss a, a pen first game. I still think it's 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 heavily between uh Ronaldo and and Leo. You know? I I I I, I could be wrong. Again, I could be very, very wrong, but that's that's what I'm thinking, you know. Come January, we could see Mo Salah just hoist it and everyone calling me an idiot, but I don't know. For me, it seems like that's going to be the route that uh, that everything goes. So, anyways, I think we need to start the recording for the first Poor Man Road to Glory regular FUT upload in God knows how long. I, I In fact, I'm kind of tempted to go see how far it's or how long it's been since I've uploaded a regular uh, Road to Glory. Now, I'm excited for this as well. And what's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode, I suppose. Because of the, the Festival of Fun. So for those of you guys that don't know, these are the first set of cards that are going to be dropping in regular Ultimate Team. Um, that EA, I guess, are trying to bring back the hype in regular FIFA. Which I'm happy for. Because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of... Re oh my god, dude. Has it been like two, three weeks since I've uploaded? The regular Poor Man Road to Glory? Has it been that long? Let me show you guys real quick. I don't know if this is even going to work. No, that's not the, the website that I wanted to show you guys, but I'll change that real quick. Um, right here. God, my YouTube channel is just a disgrace right now, man. Holy God. Past and present 21k views. I mean, you could basically search any FIFA content creator for YouTube right now and all of their views are in the tank. Unless you're DJ Mario. Genuinely, DJ Mario is balling out right now. But everybody else... Oh my god, dude. People really don't want to see uh, FIFA. Now, to be fair, in general, my audience has dropped off because my Fortnite videos were getting twenty to 30,000 views as well pretty consistently. Um, so, you know, it just is the way it is, man. 
if the relevancy starts dropping a little bit on um on youtube for me no big deal youtube's always kind of been that side project something just i enjoy doing that i'm not too worried about no matter how much money we make or how much money we don't make or how much views we get or we don't get which is why i'm still uploading to youtube because i still kind of enjoy interacting with you guys and pushing out content nevertheless without having this be the world's longest introduction it has been two weeks since i've uploaded a regular poor man road to glory upload and subsequently that's essentially one of the best viewed videos i've had other than me packing a team of the season ronaldo and one of the first few um world cup uploads so we'll see how this video does i'm excited for it the festival of fun is going on right now so this is episode number 147 i should probably write that down because you know i'm gonna first uh you know i'm gonna forget about that there's a lot coming to the youtube channel as well outside of just the poor man road to glory on regular fought the road to glory on the world cup mode fatal is going to be starting out as well i can give you guys a bit of a sneak peek i guess with what we're going to be doing um with fatal too if you even care we're going to be doing a little little something something little something something that not many other content creators i think are doing in this fatal run we're going to be treating it like a world cup challenge um in my fatal so i believe that should be coming to the channel over the weekend at some point in time as well hopefully you guys are excited for that if you're not oh well i'm excited to record it because i do like the fatal series i love challenging myself against uh you know regular people and people in the single matches but most importantly i like challenging myself on um on fifa against other youtubers i think it should be good especially with the plan i have for the squad i want to build a lot coming to the channel Today's episode should be exciting. I kind of just wanted to catch up with you guys that still play regular FUT. I wanted to see what you're enjoying with regular FUT. Um, a lot of you guys may have forgotten where we've where we've left the regular account. So I kind of wanted to give you guys a, a, a reminder. Kind of depressing, man. After finishing Root Hullet for 500k, you know, basically covering that in last episode two weeks ago. And in two weeks, I've barely played 11 games with this 93 Root Hullet. Um, you know, it it is what it is, man. You know, that's just the way of the world the world cup mode has kind of taken everybody by storm i think but i have missed this account i've even said while playing the world cup i've really really missed this account now this is the incomplete dream team i'm still undecided on what i wanted to do i i was very close over the last two three weeks for picking up a leo messi and i'm kind of happy that i did not pick up leo messi now that's not to say that he isn't one of the best players in the game still there's fresh versions of him up for almost the exact same price that i was willing to pay two to three weeks ago so that's good news the other crazy thing is though for those of you guys that haven't seen the festival of fut cards are absolutely insane so basically ea spent five weeks releasing what i think was their best promotion in the team of the season promotion i, I thought they did amazing they started off weak but i think they took in a lot of content creators myself and just viewers in general's criticisms of what they did poor and they made the team of the season promotion very good maybe you guys disagree but i i think they really really did well what i find hilarious is they spend so much time on the team of the season and then within a week they release cards that just destroy the stats on all the team of the season cards like that Kolarov is way better than his team of the season card that lazano is so much better isco all these cards are essentially better than their team of the season cards and it is what it is i guess they got to figure out a way they got to figure out a way to keep people playing regular fun and to me this is absolutely the way to do it so it's now 6 p.m uk these players should be dropped in packs which i'm excited about i want to check them all out and i think we're going to revitalize or rebuild the dream team so a lot of my viewers live on stream um ended up pointing out to me like dude what is in in my opinion at least i was saying the most exciting card out of all of these i'm not worried about that cristiano ronaldo personally I have an untradeable 96 striker Cristiano Ronaldo I'm never gonna get rid of him so that 98 doesn't mean anything unless I pack him which honestly if I pack that tradable 98 Ronaldo I'm gonna sell him the 96 is untradeable um so for me specifically the only super exciting card that's there is that absolutely incredible Felipe Coutinho 92 rated cam card are you kidding me and I thought well hold on a sec we can just re, re re swap around the team a little bit i should be able to get coutinho into the setup and he should actually be available on in a hey, there it is so i can fit him into this team just make him a cam on full cam so instead of using the dream team that i was originally going to use with one or two or three players off of cam 
we've got, I think, a relatively incredible squad with just Ronaldinho on 7 chem, everyone else on full chem. Now, is this Coutinho card going to be as good as he looks? I hope so. High, high work rates, 4 star, 4 star, incredible card stats. Let's see what his card stats look in game. I think that's insane. Now, a lot of you guys would be turning your nose up at the acceleration to sprint speed difference, and I agree, it's terrible, but he's a central cam. So to have those pace stats is fantastic. I wouldn't even use a pace card on him as a central cam anyways. What I would do is absolutely not going to toss an engine on him, but absolutely toss a dead eye on this card. His dribbling stats are through the roof as it is. You put an engine on him, I believe he goes up to 99 finishing, 99 attack positioning, 97 shot power. Who cares about penalties and volleys? That's for Dino and Ronaldo anyways, really. His vision goes up to 99. I believe his curve goes up to 99. His long passing is 96. Short passing, 99. This card, in fact, I don't know if any of the websites would have his card ready to go or not. Let me double check here. But I would love to show you guys. Uh, you know what? Yeah, wow. Fair play. He's already there. In-game stats and all. GG. Okay. Um, so, if you give this guy as a... Uh, cam, he's a 93 rated cam already. If you give him a dead eye, I would assume he's got to be 95. 96 rated cam. He's 10,000 coins now, but still 96 rated cam. There you go. So 99 finishing, 99 positioning, um, 99 vision, 99 curve, 91 long passing, 99 short passing. I just think that's a stunning stunning card so i want to work him into the dream team now the only thing i'm a little bit concerned with with adding this card oh yeah sorry here we go that's what i wanted to do my only concern with adding this card into the team is well based off of what ea are doing with these day one match cards right so this is essentially a match day one so by the time i upload this apparently these cards are staying until packs until tuesday the 25th so another three or four days i suppose of these cards in packs Lord knows what match day two cards are going to have. I mean, we could be seeing a, potentially a 94, 95 rated Coutinho, you know, among so many other cards. So for me, running this road to glory, is it going to make sense to pick up this Coutinho now? I'm excited to see what his price is. I'm assuming he, wow, no one, you know what, man? The other thing we got to take into account, a lot of people are saying, oh, this guy's going to be two to 300K. I honestly think this card's going to be expensive and purely because of exactly this. Who is spending money on this game right now? Is anybody spending money on this game? I I don't know that a single person is spending money on this game. So I'm starting to believe. Let's check. Let's check and see. Let's check and see if if if, if my feelings are even true here. Let's have a look at some. Okay, so someone like Jimenez, who looks like a pretty decent card. Again, for those of you guys that uh, that are unfamiliar, th there it is all over again. Let's have a look at Jimenez. Okay. Let's see. Is he being packed endlessly? Wait, what? So he's not on the market. Wait, what? The price ranges are not updated? Oh, wow. Oh, so EA released these cards and they all have a 10K price cap. Oh, so oh, yeah, there you go. Someone tweeted it to me. Christian just tweeted this to me. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God, dude. What? Imagine. Wow. That's genius. I mean, that's a genius. I'm going to retweet that. Fair play. Thank you, Christian. That's exactly what I needed. Um, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Okay, so... I, we can't even do anything then. We legit, I can't even do, I can't even do the fun stuff I was planning on doing, which was looking at every single card, seeing, you know, what they're going for. Wow, man. As always, such cool, cool promotions. And again, this is not me complaining. This is just food for thought. Such cool promotions, but they always drop the ball in some way, shape or form. Now, this is very, very easy to fix. You know, within the hour, EA will get this all fixed up. So that mistake is not a big deal. At least not for me. I don't really care. One of the small things I do find interesting, and I wonder why they didn't do this. Now, EA have a FIFA World Cup game mode. 
So clearly they have the license to the World Cup, all the, all the image rights, everything for the World Cup, right? Clearly the World Cup mode is not making EA a lot of money or maybe it's not doing as well as they think. So now there's this big push for Festival of Fut in regular Ultimate Team. Again, I like that. I want a reason to play regular Ultimate Team. I miss my regular Ultimate Team. So this makes me excited. I love the idea of what they're doing. I love these card releases. I, I, I love everything. But I just find it so odd that something as simple as releasing dy a dynamic image from the World Cup of Cristiano Ronaldo or of Chucky Lozano where he did that slide where he was just like, yeah, like when he scored. They have all the image rights. How are they dropping the ball on something seemingly so simple? Now, maybe I don't understand image rights. Maybe EA don't have the picture image rights for FIFA or something like that. But I just find it odd that they wouldn't do wouldn't go that extra little mile to make these cards super cool. I still think everything is great. I'm going to pick up Coutinho. I'm going to use hopefully a lot of these Festival of Fut cards. But the dynamic images, um, I I'm not too stoked on. So... The plan here of what I want to do outside of making the YouTube comments think I'm complaining again. Um, what I would really, really like to do here is completely forgot that we had marquee matchups. Flash SBC. What's this? Oh, you do a flat. Wait, what is this? What's the reward? Prime gold player pack. Hold on. Flash SBC. So I want to start doing a few of these. Our club is pretty stacked with just crap players everywhere. Nationalities four. Players from the same league or okay so this is this is gonna be pretty easy right you just do like england spain france or something like that right it's gotta all be gold though okay let me see what we got for um uh for gold cards so do i have argentinians in general i do Nationalities, max four. Players from the same league, max four. Players from the same league, max four. Ah, okay. So we could just do something super simple here. Yeah, we could do something super, super simple here. And then just go like with a Argentina-Spain type of hybrid, really. I mean, whatever I have in the club, I can make work. Right, so player quality exactly gold. Oh wait, I could legit just go one full nation. Max four nationalities. For some reason I thought it was not minimum four, but I thought it was like you need four nationalities. I'm an idiot. You could just legit go Spain. Oh, this is actually very easy. Wow. I, I think I overthought it because it's EA and I thought they wouldn't make it this easy to get something so good. Only four from the same league, but hey, dude, I mean, Spain is the is the is the easy one to go with. Like you got Spain two, you got, you know. Yeah, that's great. I mean, could go could go Arge. Ooh. Oh okay, hold on a sec. No, 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 no. We're not doing this intelligently. Not doing this intelligently at all. Um what we'll do, nation, Spain. In fact, high to low or low to high is even better. Here we go. Okay, La Liga Santander. Okay, and now the rest of it. Liga Santander. I could use, I could use. I could use Soldado. Oh my god, dude. This is... Actually, can I not use him on, on 7 chem here? I think I can. Got a right back. Easy peasy. As always, I'm making everything difficult, but... Should be... Super simple. Okay, players from the same league, max four. So... What we could do here is this. Get rid of him. And bring in Soldado. Right? Okay, we're back on the same track. And then goalkeeper. Hmm. 
Do I need four rares? Rares four. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No worries. No worries, no worries. Okay, what type of rares do we got? Okay, so let's do this then. Um, Chem is just a shambles. But let's do that. Spain, so could do that. Do I not have... Like, can I not do this? Hold on a sec. Instead of go with him... Can I not go with the CDM here and then just get myself a Spanish goalkeeper and be done with it? Do I not even have a Spanish goalkeeper? What the hell? How do I not? I actually don't have a Spanish goalkeeper. Okay. That seems a little bit insane. That quality gold. Players from the same league. Okay, we have three out of the four. So I could go with another... Oh. Let's do this then. La Liga. God, I made this. As always with SBCs. Rare players. Oh, I need another rare player. I don't really want to use Ruli. Where is... Okay, we'll do this. Four to four. Ah, dude, my, 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 I can't do it. Okay, so that's going to kill the chemistry by a certain amount. That really kills the chem. Okay. Hey, there we go. All right. Easy. I told you guys. I told you guys. <laughs> All right. Flash SBC done. That's cool. Oh my God. Hopefully I don't make this marquee matchup that much. Let's go open this pack. Let's go have a little break and see if we can pack one of these, um, one of these cards. Did they fix the, uh, the, the minimum? Did they fix the minimum yet? They absolutely have not fixed the minimum yet. Right? I don't think they have. Let's just check this out. Jimenez. Oh, no, they did. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, he's... I mean... Medium high. What's his... That's, that's a pretty nice card. With an anchor, he gets what? 82 sprint speed. 82 acceleration. 99 across the boards defensively and 99 strength with an anchor. That's a nice card, man. 6-1 is in the... I mean, it's not short. That was kind of frustrating to watch. It's okay, dude. If it was really, really frustrating, uh, I can I can, I can, can really help you out with taking your mind off things. Make a fist and then do this. Ah! I'm just kidding, by the way. Uh, did anyone know why, again, I'm a tomato? Am I dying? Why am I a tomato? I, I'm genuinely a tomato, dude. I don't I don't get it. I don't get the tomato 2018. Tomato town inbound, yep. Where are we dropping boys? Tomato town. Alright, so Jimenez, I can't remember the whole point of us looking at these cards. Is we were we trying to see if these were worth picking up so far? I'm not sure. Uh, Kolarov. Let's go see. I mean, my Kolarov is untradeable. He's going to stay in my um, Serie A squad as a left center mid. But this guy right here. Good lord. Look at these prices, man. I'm very interested to see how much. I mean, that's just the most idiotic price ever. Who's paying that, man? What are these prices, people? He's barely any different than his team of the season. And people think uh, people are going to spend six times the price. All right. So that's idiotic. 
Um, now, I really would like to, on regular fought, put together uh, a Mexican national team, especially if they keep balling out. Balling out. Um, I think it's Jesus Gallardo, right? Yeah. Especially if they keep balling out as they are right now in the World Cup. I'm so excited for the next uh, Mexican game. Right now, I've got Spain on. I think Spain are going to ball out as well. I think they're one of the most impressive sides, you know, in that first game. That Portugal-Spain game has to be the game of the tournament so far. Um, look at that team, man. Isco, Disco, balling out in the middle. Why are they releasing Isco, by the way, as a winger? Anyways, like he plays centrally for pretty much all of the games. No? At least for his national team, or am I totally wrong? I mean, right now he's starting out centrally again, so that's another thing, man. Is if we do get an Isco, I might want to use Isco at Cam. Because I think that card is just is is amazing. Again, as a winger, he's horrendous. But as a Cam, let's hope he balls out in this game and gets a match day two upgrade. Maybe like a 96 rated Cam card or something. Left cam not wing. Well, right now the the team sheet's showing him centrally, centrally as a uh, as a cam. So, Coutinho Price. Yeah, we're gonna have a look. So this is nice to see. Again, if the plan is to put together a Mexican national team at some point, he's at least not too expensive, even as an 86 rated card. So that's cool. Uh, let's check out this guy, man. Chucky. Wait, he doesn't even. Yeah, he got to search Lozano. So he's what 75k 60 70k let's say for his regular card or for his team of the season card so no one has packed a uh a chucky lozano wow okay that's interesting i'm assuming he's going to be near max maybe again two to three hundred k is not the price people are are thinking he's worth maybe they think he's worth more um sherry shav uh, a Russian, you know what? A Russian national team would be pretty fun to do. They're just getting insta bot. Yeah, okay. So there you go. People, I think people just are, are. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. This card is not bad, man. Three star, three stars, trash bags, but. Eh. I think it would still be a fun challenge to put together a Russian national team on regular foot and try and win a DKT. Maybe we start doing that on the poor man road to glory. I mean, I guess it depends on how well this video does, you know, but maybe we start bringing like past and present squad builders or something like that back to the poor man road to glory. Maybe I cash out my Dutch national team. So I have a good amount of coins to use because I think on this account, if I sell the Dutch national team, I think we could get back up to about 2 million coins. So that could be pretty enjoyable. I didn't think the Path to Glory cards would get this insane. Well, dude, as I said, my untradeable Bobby Firmino and my untradeable Goretzka, I'm thinking of my, my my road to glory now and just hoping that Goretzka gets a chance in the German national team. And I'm hoping Bobby Firmino starts balling out because just think, my untradeable Bobby Firmino, who I love already, imagine if he gets a match day two card. He's going to be like 95 rated, man. Oh my god. So I really like what EA are doing here. Again, I do wish they had dynamic images, but that's a very small complaint, really. All right, let's go check out Coutinho. Let's see how much we're going to have to pay for this card. It's going to be a stupid amount. Or he's not even been packed, one of the two. Okay, so people are instant. Don't tell me that they made a 92 Coutinho 300k. I think that's what it is. I think he's just extinct right now. I hope Savage gets one. Yeah, dude, that Savage PTG card, I think, has already gone up in price as well. That's too bad. Okay, so even if I wanted to, I can't add Coutinho to the team. Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't really care about. I don't think any of you guys really care either, right? Like, do any of you guys care? Oh, I mean, that's not the right. I mean, well, some would say this is the right Ronaldo, but anyways, not the one we're thinking about. Does anybody care? So 99 is what, 2 mil? And yet someone thinks a worse card is worth more than a 99. Is that fresh? Oh, you sneaky man. Almost fooled me there. What the hell? Like, why? Anyways. Forget it. There's my BB. 
That's crazy to think that my striker Ronaldo is not even 700k. That's nuts. Wow, this market is so awesome. What even is this card? Engine on him, dude. That's all you gotta do. I have an engine on my Ronaldo. It's the best attribute. 77 balance, 99 agility, 99, you know, sprint speed. His passing, his curve goes to 99. His vision goes to 99. Crossing goes to 99. Short passing goes to 99. Engine is just the best chem style for attackers, I think, that have uh, good finishing already. Okay, so Ronaldo, meh. Harry Kane, I'm interested to see how much better or worse Harry Kane is than his other two big cards. This will be interesting. Dude, imagine if Kante... Imagine if... I just started thinking. Like, imagine if Kante gets a match day two upgrade. Like, I know this is close. Look, no, no one's even packed the, the, the 94 Kane. But I'm assuming Kante's card's going to be one rating away from his team of the year card. This is actually making me pretty excited. I don't know if I'm an idiot for being excited for this, but I, I, I really am. I really am. All right, well, let's check Romelu Lukaku as well. Let's see what that, if anyone's even packing these cards. Romelu. Look at how, the price of these cards, man. So I'm assuming, there it is, 480. He's better than his team of the season. What the hell? Wait, what? He's... Different color flare, so obviously these are better. 99 sprint speed, man. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? If only there was a three bar pace and a three bar dribbling upgrade. Again, just toss an engine on him, dude. Right? Like, what else are you gonna do? An engine takes him up to 95 acceleration, 68 balance, 82 agility. This card is crazy, dude. Wow. Okay, so where's the logic be behind Harry Kane being lower than his team of the season and team of the... I don't understand any logic that's going on with this company in any way. Anyways, moving on. Um, Costa. Let's see how much he is. Ninety-nine sprint speed is accurate. I don't know. I don't think anybody's arguing it. I think that's a really, really incredible card. Four star weak foot. I mean, again, guys, there's only one chem style you put on him. 85 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, 67 balance, 69 agility. Still terrible, but makes him a little bit more usable in my opinion. Oh my god, dude. Imagine if Gabriel Jesus gets an upgrade. His card is going to be nutty. Nutty. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else I really care about? I mean... I think I think I think we got to start doing some squad builders on the regular road to glory dudes because I think this is him no shit oh my god that's super awkward uh, I picked the wrong guy the keeper oh my god what's his regular rating dude wait did I get him Alderson with two oh my god he's 67 rated normally and they release him as an 86 rated card Whoa, I like that. The look of this card is so nice. Six foot four. I mean, you know, I think putting together an Iceland squad would be pretty dope on, on regular fun. How fun would that be? I know everybody wants World Cup, but like how fun would that be on the poor man road to glory if we start doing some squad builders? Like next episode, um, maybe next Tuesday, I guess, depending on what other cards we get. But we do like a... I don't know, like a Mexican squad builder, just to see what we can put together. Chucky Lozano and Gallardo and El Matador and whatever, and run like a, um, and, and run a uh, DKT. See if we can win it. I, I think that would be so fun on regular foot. Like it, I, because you can buy these cards, whereas the World Cup mode, you gotta sit there and try and pack them all. 
I think that could be super, super fun, man. I don't know if you guys would give a damn about... Like, imagine us putting... With how good Russia's doing right now. Like, they're balling right now, dude. I, I am getting excited about the thought of doing this on my regular fight. Look at this card for 80k. What is this? 69. 60. What the hell? He's four star, four star. Medium high work rates is a little bit of a disaster. So apparently Juventus have actually fully locked in a deal with Golovin. I thought that they were they were talking with him. Um, and I, I was laughing because Golovin's had two incredible games, and you know player prices just start skyrocketing, right? Um Dude, this is a cool card. Again. There, there's some holes in this card. Like, there's a lot of cards that are better, but putting together a full Russian team? I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's really, really cool. I, I like it. I like the four star, four star. Again, you probably want to use it, maybe, maybe even a dead eye. You could put an engine on him as well. Sniper or dead eye or maestro would be good. Balance is, is, is poor. Um, And this guy, too, man. Aaron Mui. I wonder how much he is. I mean, we all know how incredible this card and this card were in Fut Champs. I used them for a long time. So I can only imagine when he gets, uh, what is it, an 87 rated? 90! <laughs> a 90 rated boost! Oh my god! What? Dude, what? So he's 165 cheapest right now. Four star weak foot, that's fantastic. Like, what a box to box right center mid. Amazing balance and agility is like amazing defensive stats. He's so well rounded. Like, what do you even give him? I guess you give him an engine, really. 87 finishing man, 92 composure. That is a nutty card. I don't care about other teammates. That's a sick card. Holy moly, man. Now, would I put together a full uh, Australian team? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Could put a shadow on him and really just jack up his defensive stats. Sure, why not? But yeah, that card looks great. And then um, Grangfist, I'm sorry, I don't care about. Okay, this guy, this guy. If, we, if we're talking about putting together in Iceland like a an absolute Viking squad, um, you got to talk about this dude. Is he even usable? I don't know. His, his obviously is... Um, oh, dude, I mean, uh, outside of the fact, wow, he's got 86 dribbling too. Okay. Okay. I think this is what we're doing on the road to glory, dudes. I think this is absolutely what we're going to be doing. Four star weak foot, two star skills. Who cares? He's just going to be finishing chances for us in the DKT. The man has 82 balance. How tall is he? Six foot one. Again, dudes, I know you get mad at me for saying this. Engine. Engine is the play. 88 sprint speed, 91 acceleration, 92, no, not 92 balance, 87 balance, 87 agility, 88 strength. This is a legit good card. 96 composure, 91 finishing. This is what I'm talking about, man. For 30k. Now nah, we're doing it. We're doing it. I don't know. We're, I mean, we're not doing it this episode, but we're definitely going to be doing past and present or full international squads on the regular poor man road to glory. I don't give a shit. And you know what? Even if I get 20,000 views a video, I don't even care because I'm excited about this. Maybe that's what I should be asking you guys in the comments section. Or I'm going to talk to my Twitch viewers about this as well after I'm done recording this video. What nation do we do next episode? What nation has the most special cards, but that isn't like Portugal? I mean, we could do Portugal, really. But that isn't Portugal or Argentina just yet. You know, like, is Iceland the most interesting one? You've got a goalkeeper. You've got a striker. I, I don't even know about their special cards. Can we, can we, okay, let's do this. I'm kind of interested, man. I'm kind of interested. This is, this is, this is tickling my pickle right now. What do we got? Brazil would be incredible, yes. Oh my god, you've got the hero Gilfy. You've got the hero Gilfy. Again, don't be a moron and buy these OTW cards. They don't get upgraded. Only Path to Glories do. Okay, so you've got... Uh, is, are those the three players that are special? Egypt, Kappa, that's rude. Don't be mean. 
Don't be mean, guys. It's too soon. Way too soon to say stuff like that. Wait, so why is the hero more expensive than the OTW? So I just buy... Or I, maybe he isn't. Man, we're going to do an Iceland squad. It's a hero? You realize that that is also an OTW card, right? Okay. Do we have any Icelandic uh, icons? I don't believe so, right? I really want it. Yes! Considering how insane my defense of Senegal and their football team is, I think our next episode has to be, has to be around this, like a, a squad builder around a Senegal national team. Legit. Legit. Based off of this tweet, Getting almost 4,000 retweets and 7,000 likes because Fox Soccer are just dumb in this instance. I don't think everybody at Fox Soccer is dumb, but, you know, this defense of Senegal, we got to do it. We got to. We got to do it. We're going to do a, a, Sen a Senegalese national team for sure. Oh my god. Just have a quick peek. Now, I don't want... No, no, no. You know what? I'm not going to look at their special players. I know how many incredible special players they have in Ultimate Team. So, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do next episode. Hell yeah, dudes. Absolutely. In honor of that defense tweet, we're doing we're doing Senegal. I'm super stoked, man. Okay. So, let's uh let's pop open this. I got 3 I What the hell? 3 What's this? Wait. Didn't it say 3? No, I, I, maybe I'm blind. It may or may not have said two. Niang has an SBC as well. Should I go do that? Should I go do that? Huh, is it super expensive to do? Let me go double check it. Let me go double check it. Um, yeah, let me go double check that. It did say three. Okay, well, I think EA took one away, and they're like, no, 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 no. So many World Cup cards to use. Dude, I'm super excited. Hey, we got a board from the Prime Pack. No, no, uh, Festival of, oh my god. Festival of Fut, but, is he? Okay. Uh, do Australia and Iceland have an SBC card too? I, I mean, let's go double check that, man. Do those uh, SBCs expire at any time? Because any cheap ones, I might actually do. So that we can do um, uh, the nations. Dude, uh, what is the point of me having coins if we're not going to do these awesome squad builders on our poor man Road to Glory? This is what the series is all about, man. Um, okay, let's go Let's go check. I'm going to do the marquee matchups as well. Australia does. Um, see, I mean, well, depending... Now, Cameroon, um, there's not much we can do with Cameroon, right? Congo, same thing. Ghana, same thing. Cote d'Ivoire, same thing. Now, Nigeria, Nigeria, um, Ihani Hacho Nananana, and, hmm, and Didi could be important to get. Morocco, I'm not too worried about. Oh my god, yeah, we gotta do that card. Is there a better version of, of Niang? Is there a better version of um, of Niang? I don't believe so, right? Okay. So is this a full uh, Senegalese team? It is. Okay, let me see. Should I do this next episode? Wait, do these expire, dude? Do they, do they have an expiration? Let me just double check. No, they don't. Okay. So, okay. Well, considering we're going to do the, the the squad builder next episode around Senegal, we'll do this stuff next episode. I don't, I don't think we need to worry too much, but definitely have to start looking at these things like Japan. I think Japan, did Japan get, uh, any, anything from match day? Did Japan get anything from match day one in terms of the festival of fun? No, right? No. Hey, oh, I'm surprised by that. Okay. I mean, they, they won. You'd think they'd get something. Uh, Niang might just get a festival of uh, uh, festival of football card. Well, 
depends on uh senegal's next game really dude i'm so vested now i i really want them to do well i really want them to do well yeah japan didn't get anything out of that interesting okay uh south korea's who i mean south korea what's south korea have they played two games or just one saudi arabia is done though so can't really saudi arabia is now out they they, they lost a terrible terribly boring game to uruguay but Australia, Rogic. I still remember this guy, man. Still remember watching the Nike become famous thing from like five, six, seven years ago. He's one of the first winners ever from that Nike Academy. And he's still, you know, you'd consider balling out. So, I mean, I, I, I would get him for sure. So Yoshida, we'd have to get for sure. Um. Oh, is that it? Just, just these four? Man, part of me wishes I didn't... Part of me kind of wants to start grinding on this account again, dude. Because I'm assuming, like, for Japan, it's 11 Japanese players, right? And it's 69 rated. Oh, bro. Remember what we did during... Although, me grinding all of my bronze players into silver packs, all of my silver players into gold packs, and all of my gold players into the two gold player upgrade packs, me doing that system of rinsing my club of all the things we've grinded through the year packed me three team of the season cards. But now I'm thinking, dude, if I didn't get rid of all of my, like, Japanese silvers and all of my other silver players, we could do all of these for free, man. We could do all of these for free. My green screen is, is having a mind of its own right now. But, oh, I'm kind of tempted to just grind on this road to glory. Grind bronze packs again. Grind silver upgrade packs again. Like, just out of curiosity, do I have any Japanese players? Let's see. I think I have me. I might have some uh, A B C D E F G H I J. Okay, thank you. Good alphabet snake. And I've got one untradeable dude. <laughs> couple of a uh, couple, a couple. I mean, I got a couple. Not terrible. Uh, would you consider Inui being man of the match from that first game, Takashi Inui? Bros, I'm, I, I know I'm sounding like a super big nerd right now, but this, I, I'm kind of motivated to grind again and just have some fun with you guys. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy and I'm trying to find enjoyment out of FIFA because I miss grinding FIFA. I miss the, the early morning sessions of us just chilling, opening bronze packs, doing silver upgrades, watching the World Cup as we do all of this stuff. I don't know. I'm 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 feeling actually super inspired right now with these like full nation um full nation squads that I want to do every episode. I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty damn stoked right now. Okay, so let's get these marquee matchups going. We actually could get some uh some packs opened. See if we can get some of these fut uh festival of fut things. Serbia Swiss players three. Oh wait, hold on. There's no requirement for gold right serbia and swiss players okay so let's see first let's get it let's get it oh my god is there a serbian requirement is there a serbian requirement Is there a Serbian requirement for the European one? Dude, I want to do all of these. I want to do every single one of these SBCs, man. Serbian marquee matchup. I mean, that's what we're looking at right now. Leagues minimum of three, nationalities minimum of two. Okay. Um... What do we got right now? An Australian dude. Oh my god, I kind of don't want to use any of like the, the 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 no nations if that makes sense, man. Could do that. Um Do I have a Seri ah? Uh, don't have a Seri ah. Uh, see, what's the chem requirement? Chem requirement isn't that crazy. Chem requirement, sorry, isn't that crazy? 
guys from Spain. Okay, what type of right backs do we got here? Wait, do I not have any bronzes? Do I have zero bronze players in my club? We got you, bro. I, I, I mean, I really don't. This is actually pretty intense. Okay. Um. Use bronze English? Dude, you guys need to understand. I have not made a video on this Poor Man Road to Glory account in two to three weeks. And I have not grinded bronze packs or silver upgrade packs since we rinsed my club during Team of the Season. So my club literally has only Premier League, Serie A, uh, La Liga, and maybe a few League uh, like untradeable silvers. The rest is literally rinsed. No, like, and absolutely no bronzes. Like, I've got nothing. So we, I mean, really, we got to consider grinding, I think. We absolutely got to consider grinding. Like, I've got you, Riley. What do I do? Bundesliga, maybe? There we go. Could just go full Bundesliga. Do I need any rares? Rare players, minimum of three. I already have them. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. What else am I going to use? Use that guy for now. Um. It's only 80 chem. What do we got for bronzes? This guy. I don't even know if Poland is a, is a requirement, really. AD2 chem. Ha! All right, let's do that. There you go. That's not too bad. Small prime electrum pack. So that one's done. Oh, Poland's another marquee matchup. Oh my God. And so is Germany. Oh, sweet Teresa. What's the requirement? 72? I hate me. I am a dumb stupid. Okay, Poland. Oh, we're fine. We are so fine. We're insanely fine. We're the finest. We are all fine. Hmm. Okay, go La Liga, and then we need Colombia, who, again, I would have had 20 billion players of because we had, like, 17 pages of Colombian silvers, untradeable, that I rinsed for gold players. And now I have one. Um, I could do left back. Okay, players from the same nation, max four. Do that to get me chem, because I do need 85 chem. Um, okay, and that's La Liga. So let's do this over to La Liga. Um, Spain is there, is Spain a requirement or no? Oh, the Iran Spain game is about to start, anyways. I mean, that's a super link right there. Don't use Dutch players. Don't be mean, guys. Okay. Players from the same nation, max four. Okay, so we, I mean, I guess that works. Wait, same nation, max four. So I could just use... I mean, could you use this Cameroonian player, right? Same thing with, like, this Slovakian player. I mean, it's not really going to be too needed. Could use, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to need him for the rating. Uh, Rocco, Senegal, I'm going to hold on to you for sure. Um, Nigeria, I kind of want to hold on to. I'll use this guy, I guess. Uh... Actually, no, no. 
We're really overthinking things here. These cards are all like discard, aren't they? Like I really don't need to be that that concerned. And then let's do this. So. Okay, so we're still fine there. And then if I do this, how are we looking? So I I no, we need a we need a we need a gold player. Need another gold player. Wait, can I put anybody in there and we keep the chem? Oh, we're fine. Okay, so all I need to do is just get myself. Here we go. Perfect. And Chile is not someone I really need to worry about. I don't think I'm going to get that Arturo Vidal. Although I think it would be cool to put together a Chilean national team, even though they're not in the World Cup or whatever. Just to like, again, for an episode, be like, man, imagine this squad in the World Cup. Whatever, you know? It, it, I find I still do find it heartbreaking that like incredible nations, footballing nations like Chile and the USA and, you know, the Netherlands and all jokes aside, Italy and all that stuff. Like, it's crazy that they're not part of the tournament, you know, and it's their own damn fault. There's no, you know, there's no one else to blame, really, but. I would have loved to see the USA or obviously Canada in it or something like that, right? Never going to happen until 2026. Yeah, Ireland? Like, dude, absolutely. And yeah, don't give me those dot, dot, dots. I'm not purposely not including Ireland or any other nation. I'm just giving you guys some examples. Let's tone down the professionally uh, insulted mindset. My God, dot, dot, dot. I can't believe he didn't include. Put in a nation that I didn't include. Well, no festival of football player in there yet. The servers are super, super slow, man. All right. Okay. Not even a board out of that one, unfortunately. I guess every single player is going to help us out, right? Every single player will help us out. Man, I am really, really excited. I don't know. Depending on how next episode goes. Because this episode is really just a reintroduction into us being back on the Poor Man account. Poor Man Road to Glory account on regular foot. Next episode where we do the squad builder around Senegal. How we put the squad together. All of that stuff. And then the reception that that video gets... That will really dictate whether or not we keep these fun nation squad builders going throughout the World Cup on regular fun instead of on the World Cup mode, you know? Which I think is very boring nowadays. Um, at least at least it is for me. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it isn't for you guys, but horribly boring for me. Okay. You think the new promo brings some life to the game? It's bringing life to the game for me. I don't know if it's going to keep you guys excited. Uh, me thinking about putting together really, really cool teams is making me super happy and making me super excited, for sure. Uh, okay, German players, Swedish players, and 73 rated overall. Okay, so this should be super easy, too. So, and is there any other specifics there? Let me pick a few Swedish players. Um, I could just go with a left wing. Make it... Get in leagues two, and that's it, really. Just two leagues. I could just go full German from here. I really wanted it to be super easy. Right? Oh, well, I guess 73 rated is gonna. I work on trying to keep the. Uh... Germany 2 could use him. Oh. Wait. Minimum two leagues. Okay. Yeah, German national team is going to be pretty scary. Okay, that's only center mid, so I'll leave that for now. No right wingers. Striker will be fine. Let's get this guy in there. Okay. 
I think I got rid of my only right mid, didn't I, for that other SBC. Got a lot of left mid. Auto left. Oh, oh, there we go. We got one. Uh, I think I'm actually going to try and toss a left mid in there. Got a lot of surplus left mids. Bunch of CDM, so we'll be fine. Whoops. Go. And uno mas. Go. Does that work? Okay, so the rating is a bit low. Uh, let's do... I could get Basti in there. See what other, what other golds we got. Didavi. Okay, Didavi works. Okay, perfect. Didavi is perfect. Great. Small rare mixed player pack. So these aren't that great, really, you know, in terms of marquee matchups. But, I mean, for completing it, it's another prime pack. So might as well do it. Denmark, France players 2. Rare players 4. 80 rated overall. What? Okay. I seem a bit silly. Anybody else? I guess, no, nah, no. Nah, I guess 80 rated is pretty easy to, pretty easy to get. Do I have any untradables we can use? I do, I do. Alright. Clubs from one club, max three. Denmark. What do we got for Denmark? Probably going to use Laudrup in a Denmark, uh, in a Danish squad. Kajair. Kajair. Could use a Serie A player. Actually, that might be the best play. And then try and just fit in 80 rated, though. And... All right, let's see what Serie, a, what Serie A cards we have. 85 chemistry, so it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, no, we'll be fine. We've got Allen, we've got this guy, we've got Rugani, we've got Viviano. I've got a lot of duplicates on the trade pile as well uh, to stash right back into the club. Got him. Okay, so already that's, we're looking really, really good. Alan. Yeah. Ooh, Deneze. These guys all untradeable? Oh. Okay. Mm, now left back might have to be higher rated. Right? Okay, so we're all we're only off by one rating, so let me just see. Let me see what highest gold untradeable we have. 78. 79. Almost there. The chem would work. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Well, that was sure as hell super easy. Let's go, boys. All right, Festival of Fun. Are you going to be good to me? Are you going to be good to me? I really want to see how much that Coutinho is, man. Oh, God. I want to do all of this. I really do. So who's the Argentinian player? Would would Parati make it into an Argentinian squad when we did a squad build around Argentina? Probably not. Would Dalbert get into a squad? No. There's, dude, there's just so many incredible left backs. I don't know if I would do him. If I were to put together a Canadian team, Atiba Hutchinson would absolutely get into the squad. So I'm going to get him. Uh, I think Vargas would get into a Chilean squad. So we'll get him. Corona, I think, pretty damn solid shout to get into a Mexican national team. Is Cuero... Colombia have been stumbling a little bit, huh? Um, but yeah, I think he could get in. United States, I mean, who really cares? Am I going to put together a U.S. national team at some point? Probably not. Uruguay, I was really hoping, man, Leeds would sign Abel Hernandez. It's looking like he's going somewhere else now, dude. I was super stoked on them picking him up. But anyways, um, I don't think he gets into the squad either. Really. I don't know if that's going to work. 
uh the asias we've looked at africa we've looked at europe okay i mean the the, the, the card it, this card itself uh, i would want for an england squad we did a past and present england squad on uh it did terribly of course you know as does everything on my youtube channel right now but um we did it on the world cup mode right maybe later on in the tournament if we get more festival of fun cards like if these cards start having a bunch more english players in there maybe we'll revisit the english national team potentially but that rashford i kind of really want to get that's a beautiful looking card benteke is not going to get into a belgian team christensen will get into our danish squad so i'll get him hatem ben arfa doesn't he have a better card so hatem ben arfa i don't even think he'd get into our french team so probably not going to get him Lalana is a good uh, does Lalana have a better card I think I would get Lalana I'd rather put again just to make everybody upset I'd rather put Jack Wilshire to an England team but anyways Lalana we might get Mario Goetze does Mario Goetze get anywhere near our starting 11 for a German squad probably not right with Lothar potentially maybe being used probably not I wouldn't mind putting together an Irish team I uh, you know you gotta feel bad I wish I could use David David Myler's uh, pro player card, though. That would be so cool. This donkey is not going to get anywhere near a Dutch team. Um, Adair, would he get into an Italian squad? I don't know. Maybe. Would I do a Norwegian squad? I don't know. Potentially. That card looks really nice. Poland. I I'm going to do a Polish squad. I'd probably go with like a just a central setup with with uh just Lewandowski but maybe with Milik who knows Moutinho I would get for our Portuguese team for sure <laughs> Shatov I would get him for our Russian squad for sure Shatov would be getting Perez I wouldn't be worried about uh Lindelof I would get for the Swedish team yep I'd get Lindelof for the Swedish team for sure yeah, imagine a CDM dual CDM setup of Lothar and Leon Goretzka, dude, crazy. Man, I'm I'm excited. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys are excited for the potential of this series to take off again. I'm feeling super motivated. We're gonna watch this video get 10,000 views, which I'm still grateful for, but gonna feel a little deflated, of course. But we're just gonna keep it going, man. I'm just gonna be happy with what we got. And next episode on the Poor Man Road to Glory, we're gonna put together what I hope is gonna be. A super exciting Senegalese uh, national team. So, gold player pack, prime player pack, small mix rare player pack. So, let's start with a gold player pack. No board there, so we can skip it. All right. And I get to watch this Spain game after I finish the recording. Man, oh man, am I excited. I love the World Cup. I love how inspired I am at this very second. I hope it continues. Uh, prime gold player pack. All right, small rare player pack. I guess before we open the prime player pack, let me just go quickly check Coutinho, see how much he is. I really enjoy the England past and present one. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay, all of those players will be usable now thanks to those SBCs, which is exciting. Um. Okay. Coutinho. Let's see if he's even been packed. There he is. Okay, so they jacked up his price. Not bad, man. Not bad. Do we fit Coutinho into the Dream Team? Or do we even worry about the Dream Team right now? With all of these squad builders we have planned. Do I put the Dream Team on hold, dudes? Do we just wait now? And at the end of the year, we buy the final one or two players we want for the Dream Team? I think that's what I think that's what we do. As much as I want... Yo, 500k is not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. 398, that's probably gonna insta sell. Wow, 400, that's gotta be sold, right? Yeah, that's, I would assume that's already gone if I tried to buy it. 398, man, that's not bad. That's not bad, I like it. Yeah, I think we put the dream team on hold for all of these squad builders that we're planning on doing. I think it'd be silly for me to drop another five, 600K and then only have 800K. In fact, by next episode, be prepared for me to have cashed out a hell of a lot of players. Now, a lot of these players are untradeable as it is and players I'm not willing to sell. But I I may be cashing out. Even if this is a pack pulled promise, I might be cashing him out. 
um he's untradeable anyways but i'm going to be cashing out depai and 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 the other other sellable players i have sitting in the club just so we have the ability to do some really really cool squad builders going forward in fact this goretzka i might sell i might sell i might just hedge my bets on goretzka just having one madness game if yogi low uses him of course but i might hedge my bets on goretzka going and doing a mad ting this guy's untradeable as it is. Please, Goretzka, take your chance if it's given to you, dude. Yeah, I might sell. I mean, I don't know how much he is, but we'll, we'll make that decision next episode. We'll talk about all the things that we've sold off. All right, let's get the final pack to finish things off, man. I am loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. And viewers on Twitch, don't worry. After this recording's done, we're going to start grinding on this account, especially considering we have the Spain game on in the background anyway. So might as well stay on FIFA while we're watching the, the Spain game. Come on, baby. Not even a board. So, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on the flip side for next episode. And Senegal trying to win the DKT. Peace.